targeting a controversial New York blogger. CBS 2's Diane Macedo is in Times Square with the latest for us. Hi, Diane. Chris, Twitter apparently suspended the account linked, or reportedly linked anyway, to ISIS fighter Abu Hussein al-Battani after a post revealed Pamela Geller, that blogger you referred to, her full address on the Upper East Side, as well as a hashtag saying, go forth. Now, this comes just days after Boston police charged a third man in a plot to kill Geller and kill police. They say 24-year-old Nicholas Ravinsky joined Usam Rahim and his nephew David Wright on a Rhode Island beach back on May 31st to plan the attack. The goal was to behead Geller after she organized a contest to draw the Prophet Muhammad, which Islamic law prohibits. And they mean to come after everyone that doesn't abide by, voluntarily, the blasphemy laws under Islamic law. But two days later, Rahim told Wright in a recorded phone call he was going to go after the boys in blue instead and said he wished to meet Allah sooner and leave his worldly life. Less than two hours later, police and FBI agents confronted Rahim in a Boston parking lot. Investigators say they shot and killed him after he refused to drop a knife and moved toward officers. Police and the FBI say they later found a laptop at Rahim's home that was in the process of wiping the data stored on it. It's not clear yet how much of that data they were able to save. As for Geller, she said last week, that she's been under 24-hour security since learning of that beheading plot, but that this won't deter her from continuing to uh, put an emphasis on Islamic extremism. Live in Times Square, Diane Macedo, CBS 2 News. Diane, thank you.